thing working. Yeah, cool. GoPro's being well dodge. Right, anyway. Side plastic's gonna have to come off so we can get in there. These two bolts. Um conveniently I've already loosened that one. And then it goes across. There's a bar that goes across the front of the rad. And I think there's one that goes behind as well. So both these side fins are gonna have to come off. I keep you posted as we go along and video the whole fit in. So you guys can see how they go on. Alright then, so there we go. Side panel off. Exposing these two bolts here. One, there, and there. Those two. I also had to take a 10mm M6 bolt out of there and loosen this one to allow that to move. I think that's like a radiator mount and plastics mount. Yeah, it is. Exactly where it is. So now I can get full purchase on there. Right, first bracket, let's go get it and install it. Like that. Cool, tighten them up then. With the uh, ratchet. Ta da! Here we go, that bracket there is ready. So that is number one. We've just done that, so now we're on to this one, number two. Which I'm assuming looks like the other side. I think it is. So, that's this one. All wrapped up still. Which will mean this side fitting off. Let's get that off then. Okay, unscrewed and popped off the fairing popper in there. Uh, now, these little blighters. There's one, two, oh, only three. There you go. Right then. There we go. Other side panel off. All oh, exposed. Ready to fit the other bracket there. Here we are. That's rough positioning of that for now. Our bracket. So that is number two. Done. So now on to number three, which is the bar. In between brackets, look at that. Yes, it is. That's a strap brace. Ah, and there we go. Brace fitted, strap brace, frame brace, same difference. Let's uh, tighten down this bracket now on, and then tighten down the brace. Okay, so now it's just a case of tightening the brace down. The bracket over that side is done. This one is obviously solid. This part of the frame, so I had to make sure that was solid. Uh, that's too big. Must be an 18, then was 17. Looks like a 17. Let's try a 17. There we go. There we go. Okay. Damn thing spinning. Try the other side of that. There we go. I'll tighten it 
down. Oh, nicely. Okay, yeah. Oh, thanks for the weather though, hey. Cheers for holding off for a bit. How long for, I don't know, but it's not raining right now. So, that's all that matters. Nice and tight. Place this. Tighten it back on. And the top one goes, tighten that back down. Ten mils. Sounds like I'm not the only one doing a bit of DIY. Sweet. Okay, what are we got next? Let's have a look. Just in the brace. Three, four, four. Replace the front engine mount tires. That'll be this one here. That I've already loosened. With the the bar that comes with the kit. Here we go. Pull the nuts off. Hammer and punch. Plastic's back on now. Now this is interesting. That brace there, that's where the one, one of the clash bar mounts is, off that. And obviously the clash bar comes up around here then protects all the plastics from Kelly. Down here to the the replacement engine mount I've just fed. So you have to f find. Oh. Yeah. So I can get my ratchet in there to get at that. Look at the clearance. Like, <laughs> it just about fits. And that is awesome. Now that's that done. Am oh, I losing it far enough? No, I hate doing more. <laughs> Balls. There we go, it's only on the loose for now. But mounts to the brace there, frame brace. I'm not sure what you can see on the camera or you can't. The screen on the back of these GoPros is crap. Uh, and then to the engine mount the front. So it goes up around like that. Obviously, this one here, this hole my finger's on. All that 
have a bar around the front of the rad for extra support. Brilliant. Let's get it all tightened down properly. Well, this is what I'm having to do. I'm going to open the plastics back up and go behind it to tighten the, uh, the top mount of the crash bar that attaches to the strut. Cree cree. Obviously, I'm not going to do anything like that for the bottom one. I don't have to do anything like that at all. Just for the top one. Okay. Let's talk it all down tidy up. So we're still here. Figure four. Number one, number four. Uh, which is fitting the crash bars to the two mounts. This is taking an awful long time because uh, it's just awkward. It's awkward to get out the plastic and everything. But. Hey, hey ho, there you go. Won't be long. And we'll be on to the final steps, which is five we're doing as well now. Six, which is the front of the rad uh, guard bar. For you guys, this is gonna be like, uh, probably close to like a 10 minute video if that. Um, for me. Longer than I expected, to be honest. And there we have it. Just got to tighten that bracket now, from the brace, from the front of the radiator. And we have victory. At last.